Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use an adjustment layer to quickly apply effects to multiple clips. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. All right, I'm back in my simple editing workspace and I wanted to talk to you about um, how to apply effects and do it globally. So for example, let's say I wanted my entire project to be uh, desaturated. Uh, there's just too much saturation. I want it to kind of look cool and edgy and desaturated. Um, you could apply a black and white adjustment layer to it. So if I went to effects and let's type in black. Oh, let's try white. I think that works better. There it is, black and white. So I'd have to do that to each and every one of these clips. Come here to black and white and then play around. You know, that would be tough. So I'm gonna undo that. Um, it's much easier if you're going to, you, you wanna affect the entire project visually to add what we call an adjustment layer. So an adjustment layer is on the objectives and it is pretty easy and cool to use. I use them quite a bit. So let's go to the project panel and down here in the lower right hand corner, there's the new button. So if you click on the new button, you get all these different options and one is adjustment layer. You can also click on the project panel and come up to file and new and adjustment layer. Make sure that the project panel is selected. Otherwise this will be grayed out. When it comes up, it just asks you the size. It's going to suck up the size from your sequence. So really you can just hit okay. It's pretty, just leave the defaults and then you drag it and drop it above your your project and you can stretch it out for as long as you want. So I want it to cover the entire project. So that's pretty cool. So it looks really like nothing has been applied because it's like putting a clear piece of plastic or a clear piece of glass over the top of your project. Then you can paint on that glass and change everything. So here's an example. Let's go to effects. Let's grab this black and white, drag it up there. And now everything's black and white throughout the entire project. And if I want that desaturated look, the cool thing about an adjustment layer is you can go in here to your opacity and I'm going to turn off keyframing. I just want to adjust the entire thing. So I can just scrub this down. This is a scrubbable number. And now the entire thing is desaturated kind of gives it that cool, I don't know, desaturated look. I don't know if you like that or not, but um, just just an idea. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and well, I'll leave that on there. That, it doesn't hurt anything. I also wanted to show you another one uh, that m a lot of my kids like to do. They want their videos to look more cinematic and to make it look a little bit more cinematic, they, they letterbox things. So let's go in and do that. There, there isn't an effect called letterbox, but there is one called crop. So I'm going to type in crop and to apply an effect, you saw I drag, I drug and dropped the black and white with the adjustment layer selected. You can also double click. So I'm going to double click, boom, boom. And now it's applied. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Um, sometimes you'll accidentally apply that a couple times you'll drag it and then you'll double click it and then you end up with let me go ahead and collapse this you end up with two or three different crops or two three different black and whites and that can be really confusing and you'll be adjusting one and not seeing it change so let me go ahead and it's easy to delete an effect you just select it and then hit the delete key on your keyboard very easy to do Let's twirl open uh, crop to make a cool letter box. Basically you just crop the top and the bottom and these are scrubbable numbers. So you can scrub this in and remember I was messing around with the opacity. So um, if you want to do the, the, the um, desaturation and the crop, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I wanted to keep that desaturation, the opacity on this. And, and remember, it's the black and white that we're, we're desaturating. Okay. All I need to do in order to do both is grab two adjustment layers. Boom. And then we'll apply the crop to this one. So this one's 100% opacity. And we'll drag that one up there and we'll crop that one. So on this, we want to just crop the top and the bottom. Let's try a 10%, see what that looks like. 
and we'll go to the bottom. And th these are scrubbable numbers, so you can scrub it. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, I'm going to type in 10. Um, that might be something that you could do a little research on the internet. Uh, you know, say 1920 by 1080, making it look like letterbox. How much should I crop it? Um, you can feather it. See that edge? I'm feathering the edge. You definitely don't want to do that with letterboxing, so I will bring that back to... I'll just reset it right there. Reset. There we go. Okay, so that's uh, adjustment layers, and this might have messed me up. Yeah, so see, when I letterboxed it, it messed up my, my title. And so I don't want to do that. So if you go in here and you, you adjust something, remember we keyframed the position. So if we just grab it one time, it's gonna totally mess it up. So we need to select both of these keyframes and adjust it vertically and let's let's oh dear undo okay so this is going to be tricky um i think if we come up here to this one this will adjust the key the, the position for the entire panel so let's try this let's try scooching this whoopsie scooching this up there we go. And let's see if it still animates on correctly. Cool. It does animate on correctly. Okay. So yeah, um, this position is for the entire layer, I guess. Whereas these positions down here are for these two key frame position keyframes are for the text itself. So yeah, there we go. Alrighty, so we've letterboxed it, we've desaturated it, and you don't have to do that. You can apply a different effect if you want, but the, the bottom line is you do need to know how to uh, create an adjustment layer and apply something, a look or a crop or a whatever it's going to be um, so that it looks cool. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.